Um, there's nothing that holds back rural America from continued economic development than, uh, than broadband and cell service. Uh, since I was first elected, there has been uh, a major broadband uh, build out, but uh, we saw a apparent for, uh, shortfalls in that uh, during the COVID pandemic, uh, particularly with education and, and then the ability for uh, people to actually get the job done uh, when they were in, uh, living in rural America. Uh, right now, for the first time, it appears that funding may not be the most pressing issue. More than $147 billion in federal funding has been dedicated to broadband in the last four years alone. This is a lot of money, and, uh, and it's time for us to take account on exactly where in the heck the money is. Uh, to that point, I am disappointed that the Federal Communications Commission and the National Telecommunications and Information Administration are not represented in this hearing today. Of all the committees in Congress, there is no question that the House Agriculture Committee is the one most in tune with the needs of rural America. I urge the leadership of this committee to convene a separate hearing in the future where we can hear from the leadership of these agencies as well. I said earlier that I believe at this moment funding is not necessarily the number one concern that Congress should have. Instead, it should be broadband mapping. In July of last year, I led a bipartisan, bicameral group of Georgia lawmakers in sending a letter to the FCC requesting an update on implementation of the Broadband Deployment Accuracy and Technological Availability Act, which was signed into law last Congress. Additionally, we requested the, these that, that they integrate data from the Georgia Broadband Map program into their new mapping program. Uh, unfortunately, since uh, Chairwoman, Chairwoman uh, Rosenworcel is not represented here today, I cannot ask her about the implementation of the Data Act uh, Madam, Madam Undersecretary, do your agencies rely on FCC maps to distribute broadband funds? Thank you so much, Congressman, for making high-speed internet a top priority and for your focus on mapping. It's a crucial part of how we need to coordinate across the federal government and, as you mentioned, with states that have had some of the most cutting-edge approaches to mapping. Uh, when it comes to rural development, we are intimately involved in providing information for both NTIA's NBAM map as well as the FCC's map that they are constructing. Uh, and and we, we use uh, NBAM to help as part of the process for identifying our service areas for our awards. Yeah. We have multiple components of the process, so we use the maps for a desktop review. Then the second part is allowing service providers to weigh in to say, no, actually, we cover this area, and here's the data to show that. And then how, we how have on the ground. How do you find these maps to be? For that, I'll refer to Acting Administrator yeah. McLean. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, over time, the maps have improved. Um, the, the reference to um, census block mapping uh, didn't provide much granular data. So the mapping material that we've had historically and uh, that we use now, they're informative, they're a starting point, they're not dispositive for RUS's work. Um, as, as the Undersecretary said, that uh, we have what's called a service area validation process where our applicants will proclaim to the world where they're going to propose service. Uh, we will open up a 45-day comment period where we'll allow uh, service providers to tell us what they are providing, and we will check that. Uh, we, will, we will verify that. And if necessary, I'll we'll send field staff um, out to the area to be able to double-check that. Well, my, my home state of Georgia uh, broadband map program is the gold standard in the nation's broadband uh, maps. It pre precisely maps out the availability of broadband services to every home and business in the state. Other states are following Georgia's leads and implementing similar programs. Um, so, so we have the maps. We know the needs in Georgia. And, of course, uh, Madam Secretary, I believe you were in Georgia recently meeting with broadband providers, including my constituent, Stephen Milner, uh, with whom I have worked on many broadband rollout projects in my district. Could you provide us an update on how those meetings went and uh, what your takeaway was? And I'm out of time. Uh, you can submit that answer in writing. I would appreciate that. With that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Yeah, 